everybody, Koi Express you here, and welcome back to BabsCon 2023. This is my second video on BabsCon 2023. Before I begin on BabsCon, please make sure to hit that sub button, turn that notification, follow everything in the description down below, even your video submissions idea as well. You can also comment on this video or other videos that I have on my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, let's begin on what the heck is going on with BabsCon. <laughs> you know, it's been a while. I've been updating you guys on BabsCon 2023 and future BabsCons because, you know, trying to get updates is a little complicated as it is as far as Twitter goes, Facebook, and other platforms that Babscard is associated with. And, of course, I am coming back to you guys this year because it's getting close to Babscon as it is. You guys already know it's in April, and April is about to be here as you know it. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of questions and concerns about what's going on with BabsCon 2023 as friends, family, and other people are asking me on doing another video about BabsCon and I will be present here for you guys today. And of course, it's going to be posted on Twitter and of course Facebook this video wise because I wanted to give you guys an update and of course... I'm going to give you guys a rundown again on what's happening at BabsCon this year. Um, I'm going to be talking about and following travel and, of course, ticketing and, of course, other special things that is going on with BabsCon. And they have a new slot that is just open, so hopefully I can be able to get that for you guys as far as the update as goes um i am going to take a little longer on this video than i used to the last time so bear with me as i going through the updates and of course on um twitter too actually the twitter is the same thing as their website but i'm going to give more information on off of twitter than the website itself as you guys see that they add the COVID-19 policy back on their website. And there's some things that I changed just a little bit. And hopefully you guys will, you know, recognize the changes uh, as I go along with BabsCon 2023 and future BabsCons as well. Uh, this BabsCon is a My Little Pony Friends of Miss Magic convention where we always gather once a year to, ha to have fun and celebrate the, you know, Bronies and Pegasusers, you know, arts, fanfics, everything that is concluded. Um, different conventions run in different cities and towns and... The reason why I am going back to BabsCon is because it was a fantastic time. And everybody now recognized me from BabsCon to Sequest Fest. And now I am getting a little more, you know, input from the convention because I've been, you know, helping them out, you know, as far as their convention goes. Last year when I went, it was a little complicated because of the COVID-19 policy and the people that was going around, you know, had to wear a mask, whatever. But I had to, had a exemption form because I had medical stuff, the medical issues with me, actually, uh, I'm not going to explain it here. Um, and, uh, and I did help, for, I did help them just a little bit as far as the um, convention goes because they was short staff for registration and it was a long line so I took the uh, my own time to help them out with badges and it was kind of hectic because trying to get the badges trying to trying to you know give it out to people and and bronies and pegasus they're trying to get in it was um a little complicated last year but hopefully they have more staff this year for the convention when they run. And hopefully it won't be like too chaotic like, like last time. 
But enough chit chattering, and let's begin on what the heck is going on with BabsCon and, of course, the convention running this year. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to try to do my best here, but I'm going to talk to you guys about travel and how to get there and where what to expect when you come to BabsCon 2023. So basically, they are hotels and and you know to choose from but the best hotel is for the Hyatt because the Hyatt can sell out quickly so I think you guys got until the end of March or actually the end of this month which is February March to book your rooms because once you book you cannot book again because if you cancel your reservation you're not going to get your book block no more. I changed it twice. The first time I thought I'm going to be there on Monday, but I pushed it back to Sunday, the end of the convention day, and I put it back on Monday. I was very, very lucky to put put it back on Monday in case we either, either stay Sunday or Monday because you might lose the spot for if you set your reserva- reservation permanently because it's, it's really complicated now because there's a lot of runnings and packages who wants to come to this convention and they want to be close to the site as it is. If you're lucked out, there are some other hotels, but you do have to either walk or have to take uber or lyft or if you're further out then it's going to be complicated because there is a um cali train that goes to burlingame i guess it's it's like three bucks per ride but it depends on if you're if you're lucky to be right in the hotel and right into the uh convention itself um Airplane, when you get to uh, San Francisco Bay Area, uh, there is some complication with the air flight. If you are traveling farther distance like me, you're going to be spending about more than two grand for a flight to San Francisco airport, and that's how it is. <laughs> um, the reason why it's too th- oh, I, the, le- the reason why I'm not paying for the flight because of a special friend is going to you know, book the air flight and then take me there as well. Um, if you're coming from PA and, and it's, uh, you know, it's about $2,000 just to fly for a round trip because it's really expensive. So whatever you are at in your local area, you have a airplane to go to or airport. Uh, it depends on how much they charge you online the best airline is southworth airlines aa or you i think is united airlines or united whatever or i just call it united anyway um those other jet lines it's okay but it you know depends on the area that you live in and you just have to check out your average price now, if I was in travel with my friend, I have to go to the Logan Airport over here or Bradley International Airport, but it's going to be more expensive because of the time. It might take at least about eight hours from Bradley International Airport or Boston Logan Airport. Yeah, eight hours. <laughs> but it's got to be either direct flight or you have to transfer on the different planes. And PA that I'm, you know, meeting my friend with is a nonstop flight to San Francisco. And without the best discount, yeah, without the best discount will be 1600 If If it's possible, if you change the flight that you want, like say, for instance, um, you want to leave Monday instead of Sunday, it's about 2500 and, you know, the best thing we did was when the lesser, cheaper option, and that's why we are flying about uh, $1,500. That's a round trip, and that's for both of us. 
And that's pretty expensive because of inflation. So, yeah, that's about that. Now, buses, it's a, it's a little difficult because uh, if you're traveling from your destination and they provide Greyhound to San Francisco, that's great, but you'll be in a, be, end up in a different city, town, whatever, and then you have to carpool or do Uber or whatever, try to get to Babscon 2023. And that's how... You know that situation goes. If you're if you if you're a carpooler, a drive drive fanatic, if you want to come to Babscon, I wish you luck. <laughs> Depends on where you're at, and um, and I you know give you props for driving all the way from your side of the state to the convention and have fun. Uh, it's gonna be a. a a doozy trying to get to Babscon, but at least going to have fun. That's the good part about it. Um, I'm going to take a look and I'm going to help you guys on, you know, certain things. And, and of course, what changes at, at least. Now, I will be coming back for a third video and the last video. And it's going to be closer to the actual date. Um, I might be coming back before I leave on March 31st, but there will be two videos of Babscon before I actually make my final departure on the 31st. So you guys will see me twice already before I leave to go meet up my friend in PA, but I'm not going to, uh, you know, tell you guys the physical location because it's, it's, you know, for, for, you know, for personal information reasons, I can't do that. But I will tell you that I am going to PA to meet with a friend. And then we're going to Babscon and have a lots of fun. Alright. Um, and there is a information from last year. As far as I didn't tell you anything. Well, I'm going to tell you this now. When you get to Babscon, they do have a nightmare... Marketplace is 18 and plus. You have to show your ID. And, of course, you cannot have the stuff out. You have to bring a backpack or whatever because they have, you know, under age, you know, people like like children, young adults, teenagers. And they might see that and you get a lot of trouble. So, the first rule is to bring a... Some sort of bag so you can hide the not safe for work stuff when it comes to Nightmare Night Marketplace. And that's the number one rule for that convention. Alright, the second one I'm going to uh, tell you guys is you have to tell one of the people that it runs the place or security that I have a medical you know issue. They will put a thing on your badge saying that hey uh you know i'm disabled like i take medicine whatever and i get like exempt that's what we call like like exempt is for for a reason like mask for instance if you can't wear a mask like me because i have a medical stuff you tell somebody that at the desk and then it will provide you with a lot of you know details and how it works and stuff like that um, you do have to, you know, kind of go to registration for that and just tell them and, and, um, fulfill that, you know, requirements for that. Um, otherwise you have to follow the COVID-19 policy where, uh, it's the same as last year, you know, you have to get like the Johnson Johnson saw or Pfizer or something that's, you know, that the state pays for and you have to have all three shots requirements. You have to also get a booster from this year exactly before the convention starts or you're, you're disqualified from coming to the convention itself. So you have to do all that. Like last year, you just have to get a updated information. I have to go to CVS this time because usually at the program I'm in for, you know, provided the shots, and now since uh, they can't, I'm going. I'm going to have to go to CVS to make an appointment to get my 
fourth booster shot just to be safe and you know going a- anywhere. But masks are optional on the flight, buses, cars, and everything now because, you know, since we're out of the emergency pandemics phase and uh, hopefully, you know, we can be able to have the option of wearing a mask or not, you know, it's your preference too. Um, This convention will require you to wear a mask unless you have a medical exemption from from a doctor or if you have like medical devices like I do, then they will give you a a little sticker on your badge, like I said before. Uh I, this there was another thing with Babscon where they were trying to make a donation donation, you know you know how you guys make a donation to certain you know, f- you know, certain companies like, like if they need money because they need to run and stuff. Well, they did that. It's called a, uh, companions or or competition or whatever it is. And I'm sorry if I can't pronounce that, but if you donate your time to BabsCon, they will put that in the money pool, and if they reach their goal, then they can be able to run more stuff at the convention. So it's like. It's like you're you're putting your time in and, you know, giving them money and helping them out. I've been helping them out with, you know, sponsoring them and putting them out so they know, so people know that to support BabsCon. And that's why I did the first video a long time ago. Um, I didn't know this until I got the updated information that they was just doing this, uh, donation pool and, and now I get to present you guys to, so you can, guys can donate. You guys will see in the front that there is a donation slot. So you guys will be able to donate more to BabsCon, but they already met their goals. But you know, a lot of donations, a lot of, a lot of things will happen at BabsCon of this year. And I'm going to be uh, telling you guys to donate next year, too, as well, because they're, they're going to do the same thing, too. Uh, so please be courteous and kind and help BabsCon out for this year and next year and the future future uh, conventions, too, as well, that BabsCon does. And they surely appreciate me for helping them out, too, as well. Um, Another thing is... Registration did update, so I'm going to show you guys that in a sec. Um, I'm trying to go all out this time because it is it is getting close, and um, there's not a lot of you know announcement about musics and and gases and stuff like and you know other people that's coming. Um, I will be showing you guys just a little bit on what's you know what changes on their website and. Of course, they always announce it on their Twitter handle too, as well, and Facebook. So hopefully, you guys will see that for yourself. Um, let's go to BabsCon and let's uh, figure out what's going on. So again, you guys will see their front page, so you can click about whatever you trying to get some information about BabsCon. Uh, Bay Area Brony Spectacular. My Little Pony Convention running on April 7th to the 9th. And it's at the Hyatt uh, Hyatt Hotel Airport. Uh, like I said, you got to come off of the SFO. And then you can be able to take the shuttle there to the to the hotel. They run It runs every 25 minutes. And then they end about a Pacific, like, like maybe at the, like towards the end of midnight. But there, but the time difference are are uh, different in the state. Like you're living, like for example, I live in an East Coast, so it'll be Eastern Standard Time. California time is on Pacific Standard Time, so you do have to judge on what time you get there, because if you're flying from PA, for example, it takes six hours. But when you get there, it'll be three hours behind of what you just leave. So. It's going to be a little lag if you if you can adjust the time. So I'm going to go to the hotel so you guys will see uh, 
the information. So, you're home away from home. And you guys will see that all the information with the, uh, the hotel. Um, the block should be ending about either this month or in March. So, you got plenty of time to book. And like I said, if you, uh, it says to avoid one night, one night's free, cancel 72 hours prior to check-in time. So, like I said before, if you can't make it on the day of the convention, they will charge you if you don't cancel it in the 72-hour mark, which is two days. Um, for us, we are going to be there between April 5th and leaving on the 9th instead of the 10th. We we're supposed to we we're supposed to leave on the 10th, but uh of the flights being so expensive, we have to leave a day early. Like so that's why we're leaving on the 9th. We're leaving after everything is over. So chances are we we have to find out if they can store our luggage in their safety safety area, but I I have to see for that for for the hotel policy or whatever they can give me on the day of when I check in. So here's all the hotel information. Now you can have a party for uh, sorry a party floor, uh, and you have to let BabsCon know. I'm not gonna click all this because you know. It's going to take me to a different area. That's that for the hotel information. Uh, like I said, party floor. It will show you about the information about all the rules and regulations for that. Perfect. And you guys will pause this video. You can see the rules and regulations for, for the party floor. And you can, I believe you can apply, apply now for that. Mm, let me make sure. Oh, actually, if any questions or concerns, you can apply there too as well. All right. Uh, their latest news, you can click on their latest news and it will give you like, we have a new guest and it's from, and she's from the Owl House. Uh, so, uh, Sarah Nicole, uh, uh, Rob, really, uh, Rob, I say Rob, I say Rob, instead of the long pronounced name, I'll call her Sarah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Loose from the Owl House is coming, so I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, everybody's axing on the Owl House fan page, like, like, She's going to Babscon. Awesome. And then when I posted on the uh, Brony page, they said she p plays who character? Like, what characters does she play? Like, um, that, I don't know. I have to find information about that. Um, the next person is coming in. You guys can read all of that information. You can pause this video or just, you know, bypass this if you want. The next one is Yona. Yona is coming to Babscon. Yes. Um. You guys will see. <laughs> you guys see the names of the person that's coming. Um. I call, I'm gonna call her Kate. There you go. And Kate Salisbury uh, or Catherine or Katharina, Kath, Katharina. Kethra, or so I, I'm sorry, I call her Katharina. But she is coming, Yona is coming. And I think that's about it. It's just that now they're just asking about the uh, official statement from uh, markets, leaders from BassCon, you know. I'm going to try to bypass that because it's a very long, uh, very long um, paragraphs. Uh, trust me, you guys. I will do much better the next time I come, so it'll be much better. 
Getting involved. Uh, I don't see. There's a capital. Oh, it's called Capital Drive. Looks like it. Yeah, this is. That's what I said about the donation goal or the com, uh, comp, uh, competing or or the goals that I wanted to do. But it's called Cap uh, Capital campaign ca ca sorry campaign there we go campaign drive where you donate to babscon they met their goal and uh i want to congratulate them for that uh you can still donate there's sub supposed to be a link uh let's see what else here volunteers they need volunteers for babscon please help out and go to this link so you'll be able to get their information about volunteers because they do need help. Please help. I'm, I'm looking for a lot of Ronies that's going to help BabsCon of this year and the future BabsCon as well. Uh, you can apply. There, there's no deadline for it just yet, but they're looking for everybody's help. Please help. I want to make sure everything is here. Uh, you can look at, you know, all the information here. It will tell you how to do that. I'm going to scroll down so you guys will see that for yourself. It's a very long list. Uh, if you can't see what I'm seeing, you can always go to babscon.com slash 2023. And it will get you there as well. It's a very long list. I think, it, yeah, here we go. So, check that out for yourself. You know, you can pause the video and see if you don't want to do that. You know, you can go to their website. Like I said earlier, babscon.com slash 2023. All right. Next one is their charity. I don't think they have anything in their charity slot just yet. Um, press. You could always apply for press. Press is where media like the news or if you want to go as a YouTuber and trying to get in, in, into everybody's faces about about stuff, you can do that. But for me, I just like to explore of different conventions and and ha just have fun. And of course, you, you guys will see for yourself what the convention is. I go in and just start recording, and then you know tell you about what this convention is. Sort of like a mini movie almost. Guys, want to make you read all that? So, it's about the press. So, uh, if you want to pause that, you can, or you can go to their website. Uh, the next thing is this. This one's a little new, but I wanted to see what was this new slot. It's called Stable Sponsorship, meaning that this is like a a uh, little access pass to the stage and they give you a tier on 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 basically on the sponsors so the tiers are groovy a uh, splendid uh, uh, sparkling uh, moon mubo and full circle these are really expensive, and I'm going to explain the expensive. $200, $500, $1,000, $2,500, Really expensive. The tiers for this is being displayed as it is. Like you can be able to interact with them. It says, uh, click a batch icon for, for, for the, for East tier or whatever, whatever membership you want. 
Um, I'm going to explain to you guys <laughs> what you get for those those tiers. So, gravity will give you not all those, but gives you uh, page space and con con book, which is half of one and a half eighth or one eighth, and their website mentioned. Next is the Sp Splendid. You will get a login sponsor ba banner. That's with a star. You got the half of one, actually one fourth of a pay space on con book and website mentioned. So you get a pretty much all of, a, of the tiers, tiers of the stars with website mentions. Uh, the next one is called Sparkling, and you will get on stage thank you, sign thank you letter, logo on sponsor banner, and then you get a half half a page space page on the con book, and of course website mentions too as well. The next one is called Moombo. That's the that's the twenty five hundred one or or two thousand five hundred. You will get a Disney sign slider on say thank you sign thank you letter logo and sponsor banner, and of course you will get a full. Space page on con book and a website. The last word is a shocker. Full circle. That's a shocker. That is the 5,000 badge sponsor. You will get in the following name and logo on press slash TV. Wow. Custom art piece. That's also cool. Regular social media boost, main hall, and in, inter in, inter or whatever it is. There's no sign slider or slides. On stage, thank you. Sign thank you leather, logo and sponsor banner, full the full one actually, and space on con book full as well. Because they got the you, you see the stars when the stars means it's full, like fully on everything. So that's how you get your your faces on the on the con book. <laughs> that's what I that's what I see. Um, that is it. Um, that's only if you want to do the corporation and stable stable sponsorship. Uh, registration is is. Is also the same, but they have different tiers too as well. Um, we already see people to see. We don't have community guest service just yet. Uh, that's probably near. Um, all the stuff that I said about COVID nineteen about us. Uh, accessibility is where you know the convention is. You know, accessible to everybody. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little later. I'm going to register now, <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you guys that it's almost the same thing as last year. I'm going to let you guys look on that. Um, they added they added something that I didn't see. I want to see if everything is correct, and I want to make sure that I have everything here. Hmm, I don't think they, I think they changed up stuff. Okay, so so they did add some some features to this. Um Okay, they did change up a lot. Okay. So the so the list is personal uh, metal oh, metal uh for, 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 uh 
Versity, MVP hotel room. It may look like intimate group uh, Geo Geo uh, X. Uh, sorry, Geo H. So I think they added maybe a couple things on this list. Uh, like new, and it says sponsored lo- uh, lounge access. Uh, let's see here. That's it, anything with a star it will be new. So for example, uh, the high society you will get it. You will also get it in Crystal Ponies as well. Followed by Noble Pony and Adversity M- MVP. That's a new badge there. And of course, uh, President, President, I can't, I'll do it. Let's see here. I'm just trying to turn my head because they have the tear. Uh, the Presidential, there you go. That's what I said. Presidential sponsor is as expensive. Um, I don't know if I did speak about the badges, but I'm going to probably, uh, you probably already see the tier list already. The presidential is everything. Um, so what it is, is they have a different tier with, from Cassaders to uh, presidential sponsors. Uh, usually it'd be a, a different one every year, but they probably add some more like the presidential sponsors and the uh, uh, Versity MVP sponsor. Usually um, people will spend a lot of money just to get their faces and their word out. Um, so speaking of, you know, the A's consent for different badges, uh, the criteria is they add to this year or they rename stuff. And usually, everything from, from I think, Noble Pony to Cassaders are the oldest oldest badges, names that they still have. Uh, the Versity MLP, the Versity MVP and Presidential Sponsors are new. Usually, that means it's a little more expensive, like... For example, the Versity MVP is twenty seven fifty. The presidential sponsor is thirty five hundred. That's a lot. Uh, but the Spencer's ba- the all those Spencer's pass b- badges is the even ones that you get the most. But there are certain things you can't get, you know, entirely. But if you get the presidential a sponsor badge, you'll get everything. But then the uh, uh, Versity MVP. Uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing stuff wrong a little bit, but hopefully I'll probably get that ramped up in the next video. But I want you guys to see what's the tiers. Again, um, I'm not going to explain the tiers because I did it in the first video. So hopefully you guys will see. Now, the the Versity MVP gives you six, and the presidential sponsor will give you also six of the vouchers. But there is uh, certain things you can't get, which is the the engraved badge, and and that's the Versity M- MVP. But the presidential sponsor is the engraved. I wish they add that to the regular passes, but uh, that won't that won't happen any anytime soon. Um, let's see. So, getting the new sponsor lounge access will be High Society, Crystal Ponies, Noble Ponies, Versity MV- MVP, and Person. Presidential sponsor is also gives you the access too, because why not pay for more time to get the access? Pretty much everything is just the same. So, what does the stars and hearts mean? It says does not include autograph line. That's what the stars the that little diamond is. So anything with a diamond. So. I don't see a diamond on here. 
but the heart is as available in a, an add on. You can add on stuff. So, pretty much, uh, this looks like a diamond, but it's but it's sort of like a hex gun, but whatever it is, <laughs> I might be wrong. Oh well. Uh, click here to begin registration. It will go to a different registration. I have two because I did invite my friend to BabsCon again, even though he did a fantastic job. So I kind of give him a birthday gift on paying for his badge. So that was nice of me for doing that. And hopefully we get enjoy the convention itself. Uh, you can also follow BabsCon at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, email. Um, what's that website called? Uh, to, uh, I said T or Trimble or whatever it is. YouTube. You can also you can also meet them on Amazon. That's weird. This is Twitch and of course the Discord. Uh, <laughs> I think it's called, is it tri is it Timble or Trimble? Whatever it is. You might quit, correct me on that. Um, That's about it for that. Let's see. What am I missing? So they don't have these yet. Uh, premium experience. There's nothing in there yet. Um, code of conduct, comics, stuff to buy. They still have the venue hall, so they don't have anybody just yet. But this is what it looks like for the vendors and stuff. So you guys will see that for yourself. It's a, it's just amazing that um that they still have this up than last year. And like I said before, they don't have any anybody yet in the slots. But this is a floor plan. And usually the floor plans is pretty awesome because it's a lot of vendors. Hopefully they have more vendors this year. And I'll be coming back to tell you guys on who is coming. And it will be, a, like I said, a third video on this. So that way you guys will get the latest update from me from BabsCon 2023 and future BabsCons as well. I'm going to go ahead and try to get back here. Rainbow Falls. Okay, here we go. There you have it. I'm going to close this out now. So there you have it on BabsCon 2023. Hope you guys can see, you know, if I miss anything, there's always be a third video and more, exp you know, explaining to do and so forth. Okay, um, and I think I explained about accessibility. So, let me, let me do that again so you guys will hear me say, you know, what's going on with the accessibility part and tell you guys on how that works. So the accessibility is where the place has accessible railings or escalators or elevators, things like that. The hotel does have in following elevators, escalators, and they are accessible to the public. The garage, and I'm going to tell you guys that this if you're coming from the garage, there's also accessibility too for everybody's needs, including uh, disabilities like me and, of course, other people that's on wheelchairs and and crutches and stuff like that. So the garage is accessible as well. The hotel is accessible. There, are, The hotel is divided into three parts. Um, you just have to look at the map itself or you can ask the front desk for a hotel map and it will give you a a safety protocol or safety map and it will tell you where the X's are, the fire extinguishers, the elevator, the escalators, things like that for an emergency. So that's why the whole building is souped up with accessibility stuff. Convention too as well. Uh, they go by safety protocols too as well. 
So if you have any questions, concern, you can always go to the security or and of course the um, hotel security too as well. Um, there is a lot of things uh, about the hotel, so hopefully you guys understand. So when you do when you do come into the Hyatt, it's beautiful. I'm telling you, you got the wide open space, you got the food court, you got different conference rooms, and of course the vendor halls in a big rig room. Um, <clears throat> you do have to have your badge on you at all times, every day. If you forget your badge, then they will ask you for your badge, and it will escort you out if you don't have it. <clears throat> but you can still go to your room. And hang out, but depends. San Francisco Hyatt, um, by the airport. Sorry if I didn't say the airport, but when you when you're in San Francisco, the uh, the the Hyatt Airport Hotel, uh, there is some food around. There is a gas station across the street, and there is a subway about 17 minutes away from the hotel. There's a Walgreens, there's a train area, you just have to cross it. There's gas stations, there's restaurants. Um, the only problem is there's no McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. They're all in St. Jo uh, Joe's, St. St. Joe's, J -O or Joss, whatever you pronounce, pronounce that uh, other uh, city. But it's in St. Joss, you, there is a... Uh, McDonald's, Burger King, uh, Wendy's, there is there is 7-Eleven, there is a lot of food down there, but you have to take the Cali train to get there. It's, the Cali train is not that expensive, but, um, if you prefer to go down there every time, but that's your preference, but, but most of the time that you have, you know, you still have subway, you know, from 17 minutes away from the hotel, and some pizza places. If you want to, you can get the shuttle back to the airport and you can go to McDonald's over that way because the Mulberry area, they have a lot of stuff over there than Burnley Games. So hopefully you guys understand that if you take the shuttle, it's free to do and you can be able to go to the Mulberry area to get the, or actually I said Mulberry. I said more bra. Uh, I, how you pronounce that? <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'll say Marbury anyway. So yeah, that area has a lot. So just check out the Google Maps and of course Bing or whatever map you use. You can find you know all those fast food places. But overall, it's a beautiful area. Please don't miss it because it's really awesome and you know. <laughs> You have to have fun in that area too, including with the conventions too as well. So anyway, hopefully I could cover everything. If I miss something, please comment below or email me. You know, if I miss anything in this video, I will be coming back in the third of BabsCon 2023 and explain more. And hopefully you guys will come and have fun with us too as well because we're looking forward to seeing you at the convention itself which is BabsCon 2023 um so the information on Twitter before I actually leave is current and updated as well I will, I will be coming back to explain on Twitter too as well so you guys will see the information from BabsCon 2023 and of course, hopefully you guys will understand on what's going on. Hopefully I will come back to, you know, kind of give you guys more of if anybody else is coming. And, and hopefully I could be able to explain more myself on on that person and, and how, you know, I see them, you know, roll as a Milo Pony character and whatever. But hopefully... You guys will like, you know, 
you know, see, you know, see the updates as well on Twitter, Facebook, and other platforms that is out there for BabsCon and their future convention itself because I'm excited to go. I can't wait, and hopefully you guys will, you know, come and have fun with us because uh, pretty, it's, it's pretty de- decent, and I, I'm i glad that I have it at this vacation coming up very shortly because I do need one myself. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> with all the break-ins and stuff on my, on my platforms, I just need a, a really decent vacation. And I get to be out the state and just have fun and and just be myself for once at least. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, this was BabsCon 2023. This was part or actually video two of you know the updates of BabsCon. Anyway, because I want you guys to see on what's what the heck is going on with the convention itself, and and hopefully you guys will understand this second the second video that I did because. Hopefully, uh, they will probably get going because if they see this video, they're probably going to put up a lot more information on their website. And hopefully, I give them a, a push and a shove. And hopefully, they will um, kind of ask for more people to join their convention for this year. And I'm really excited to see on what's going on. And, of course... It's going to be a blast, and hopefully I can be able to have that that newer uh, newer faces at the convention, and hopefully they have the a better organization and or organize, you know, everything, and, and I'd like to see that from BabsCon this year. But anyway, you guys, this is Corey Express 2. I am signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.